Welcome to a new episode of Photography Behind the Scenes. In today's episode, I'm still on the Italian island Sardinia, and before the sun disappears behind the local mountains, I decided to take the Pentax out on a little walk. I've got a roll of Kodak Gold loaded in it, and just started off by walking down this road with no particular route. As I came to this house here with the plants in front of the door, I decided that this is going to be the first photo of the session. This is what I got, and I think it's an okay start. The subject matter and composition work together nicely, however, technically viewed, I kind of messed this photo up. Seeing as I've always been told to rather overexpose than underexpose my film, I've gotten into the habit of constantly overexposing my shots, and it seems that this was the moment when I took it a bit too far. I did my best to recover the right side, but this is the best I could do. So I've learned my lesson and I'll hopefully not overly overexpose my shots anymore. Then I continued down this road and came across this air conditioners box. I believe I've told you before that I enjoy the aesthetic of these kind of boxes and so I felt compelled to photograph this one. this is what I got and I think it looks good. I had actually also overexposed this one but looks like this photo survived it. Something I enjoyed in this scene was the light blue colour of the house's wall and I think it comes across beautifully in the photo too. Apart from that, the two elements that make this photo for me are the AC box and the lines of the shadow that goes across the wall and splits the composition. Then I was wandering around this road, not finding much, until I looked up and saw these two aligned power poles. I thought they'd make a decent, minimalistic composition, so I gave it a try. This is the outcome, and I think it's okay, however, I've sort of lost my interest for this scene. I don't particularly like it anymore. And unfortunately, I missed that roof corner in the bottom left, which is an absolute nuisance for the minimalistic composition. I could easily just crop it out, but I wanted to show you the full photograph with my little mistake. A couple roads later, I found this house with this cool staircase leading to its door. I enjoyed the shapes here and the lights that hit the scene. This is the result and I think it turned out okay. There's not much to point out here, it's pretty straightforward, except that here too I by now have lost my interest for this subject. I don't know why, maybe that evening I was shooting overly euphorically or so, not sure. A little later, I came across this cute tiny car parked underneath a bush of flowers, which I thought was such a beautiful scene. I tried out many compositions, but I just couldn't find something that satisfied me, that captured the car in a way that resembles what I enjoy in the scene. I think the main issue I had was the car parked directly behind this one. I always had it in frame and it just destroyed the scene because it simply doesn't suit the other car, so I had to move on. As I continued, I came to this street where I found the apartment building to the left. I liked the shapes of the balcony and how they formed the shadows. This is what I got and I think it's okay. The shapes come across nicely, however, I feel that a more clear subject is missing, which leads to the photos seeming a bit aimless, I find. Across the road, I found these steps going up the wall. Something I enjoyed in this scene was that tree that comes into contact with the stairs. 
This is the shot and I think it's cool. It's simple, but it shows all the aspects of the scene I enjoyed. The photo holds this nice contrast in shapes when comparing the straight wall and the strictly geometrical stairs to the tree that looks like a wild and free shape. Also, I enjoy how the greens of the tree turned out in this photo. I walked a couple meters into the street, but then decided to turn around and head to a different area. On my way, I spotted some monoblocks around a white table of the same sort in this front area of the previously photographed apartment building. As you heard in the clip, I was suddenly spoken to by a lady while trying to film the scene. She was on the balcony watching me and asked me in Italian what I was doing. The situation was quite funny seeing as I answered in a bunch of words I just made up because I have zero Italian skills. Anyway, the photograph turned out quite cool I think. It shows this lively area. Lively not because there are people in frame, but lively because of the signs that signal the presence of people. The chairs and the way they are positioned, the ashtray and the red bucket with a mop. All in all, I really like this one. I continued my walk and strolled through a couple more streets until I spotted my next photograph. As I looked over the gate here, I saw those two chairs stood up to the wall. Again, I liked this presence of people without the actual people in this scene, so I got a shot. The photo turned out nicely. I enjoyed that, apart from the chairs, this scene has more to offer. I'd like to point out the flower pot on the right and next to that, the yellow water hose. Also, that pot on the left next to the wall is an interesting feature I find. So there's a lot to look at here, which I appreciate. Next, I had come to a different area which nevertheless had a similar vibe to the streets I was at before and again my attention was caught by the front area of another apartment building. Or maybe it was that stack of monoblocks. This is the result. I think this photo works in a similar way as the previous ones in the sense of this human presence being the subject of the photograph. However, for some reason, I don't like this one as much as the others. I can't clearly define what I'm disliking here. Maybe it's the rubbish bins in the left corner which take away from this liveliness because the bins look somewhat depressing. Next, I came to this junction where I liked the corner on the other side with the two signposts and the tree behind them. I like the outcome all in all, however, there are a couple elements I would love to erase. Firstly, the two cars to the right. They take up so much attention in the photo, which they actually shouldn't be getting. I think the photograph would work better without them. Similarly, I don't like the street lamp on the left. The next photo I got was a simple straight photo up this road. This is the outcome and I think it's pretty cool, it just captures the streets of Sardinia quite soberly. Next, I was yet again caught by the entrance to another living space with chairs standing around and other fun details to spot. This place even had an AC. The photo turned out quite nice I think. I enjoy how this one has quite some depth thanks to the layers and the leading lines. Then it was time to wrap up the session with one last photo. I decided to wait at the road for some time to catch a moment when the road clears of it and I get the chance to photograph straight down it. This is what I got and I think this is a beautiful way to end the day. Many elements of this photograph aligned perfectly for a balanced composition. The lamp, the yellow box marking on the road and the amount of cars on the road. So that was the end. After getting that shot I walked home, seeing as our accommodation was only about a minute away. I hope you enjoyed this episode from my summer trip. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments. I'm curious which shots you personally like a lot, if there are any. I think my favourite is that last one of the road that I got. I haven't mentioned yet that I love the lighting I had at that moment.
Anyway, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, I'd appreciate a like, which helps the channel to grow. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I'll hopefully see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.